<laughs> hey guys. Of course, you know who this is, Derek. Um, one other thing I'm going to hit on is, you know, a little more on the fire making. But I'm actually going to use a magnesium stick or a magnesium rod. Um, it's something, yeah, a little more present day, but it's still something that you can use. It's something that you can still get wet, but it's still incredibly useful. Um, it's one thing you want to use when you don't really have much sunlight. Oh, when it's cloud covered and no, in getting noticeably dark. Um, it's something that is very useful, but you want to use it sparingly. But you also want to make sure you get a fire going with it too. Um, I'm not going to really get a fire going per se, but I will show you the effects of when you strike it to, on what to look for with it. Um, so I'll get right to it. So this is my magnesium rod. And of course you want to use a knife. I tend to keep uh, my knife sharp, but I don't know if you're going to be able to really see it much. And hopefully you've seen some of the bright sparks. Those you want to make sure they're as close to the um, fire starter which is something that you want to keep dry and you know have close to you make sure you spark it close to the tender fire starter whether it be dry grass um you can actually use dryer lint as long as it's you know small enough to get started fairly easily but you also want to make sure you don't catch anything else on fire that's around you um other than that i will make sure i get some more stuff going for you um if you want to have you know if you have some ideas on scenarios you want me to do feel free i will try and get them done whether it be well i don't want to really say rain but you know decent weather um let me know but click like, subscribe, and I will post more for you.